so I bought this uh, this uh, feed bunk, and it's a five and a half foot one. A bunch of different brands make these. This is the one I bought. I got a good deal on it. Uh, like 129. They're normally like 150 ish, maybe less. So you got new babies, three little lambs. Um, anyhow, for the sheep to modify it. I just took this old, uh, what is this bed frame from, uh, futon frame that I had used before as a hay rack, and I put it on upside down, and then I just wired it on. You could probably screw it on and stuff, but this works. It was quick. It's been like minus 40 here, so I was doing it in the cold, so. And then all I did was removed every other, um, bar upright. So they can fit their heads through. They might have been able to without it. Because this is the gap. But that's kind of narrow. But the main thing is this way now they won't jump into it. And shit in it and stuff. But yeah it works good. Because I'm going to feed them some regular feed. We're getting really low on hay around here. It's hard to get. So uh, I'm going to pick up some feed to give them. Plus with the babies. Give them extra. And then... I just cut these off, and there's just a weld on both sides, if you can see that. But I just cut it off, and then I grounded it smooth so there's no, well, relatively smooth. I just did it quick, just so there's no sharp edges to cut them. Then I might paint it later, but. So yeah, for like 150 bucks, you make a nice little sheep feeder. And here's the new babies. Here's the little one brown one. I got two brown ones and a black one. That one's pottying. switched so yeah they seem to like it. it seems to work good and I've had them on both sides eating and uh, they make this in a 10 foot or two for just a little bit more maybe $20 more 20 to $40 more uh, I just wanted the smaller one but if you have more sheep you might want to get the bigger one this one's easy to move around and stuff the big one wouldn't be bad too either it slides real nice on those skids so especially on the snow but yeah.